of our PoE playthrough. However, this time we will be doing this uh, live. So if I do happen to talk to my chat, I promise I'm not crazy. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and continue now that we're in act two. So uh, if we hit our options for the quest. I should probably have went over this in the first part, but I have mine bound to maybe something different. If I hit you, it's gonna open up the world screen. So if you just click on this menu thing, um, you'll be able to see what the hotkeys are for any of these things as far as opening up inventory. That's like, I. Most of these things are like default in any um, action RPG, but um, we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, go back into act one as this is an act two quest. It actually makes you go backwards. However, before we do that, because I want to hit up something on the way over there, um, Act 2 is basically all about siding with uh, a certain bandit, or you can actually kill them all. We're going to go ahead and actually um, side with Alira, and I'll show you what the uh, bonuses are. So the first thing I'm going to actually do, uh, just for uh, the sake of doing things a little bit faster, I like to do it in this order. I like to go ahead and, first off, eliminate one of the bandits. So this is Einhar. You'll encounter some of these uh, guys uh, as you progress, and they'll have some type of quest for you to do. Uh, so for Anhar, this is his mechanic. And if you don't want to engage in these, you really don't have to, but I'm going to show how the mechanic works. But basically, um, there are all these beasts, and you'll have to lower their HP enough, and he'll capture them. You used to have to do this manually, but they have changed it, uh, which is much nicer. <laughs> Go and pick up the item, because that's another chromatic orb. But yeah, you'll see that once the HP goes to zero, he'll capture it. He also does an actual like amount of damage, we will be best friends, which is quite beast, nice. Until we slaughter you. <laughs> and then we'll eliminate this guy. Well, that's a nice uh, set of sockets, but unfortunately we can't really use anything except for two-handers because that's what I'm specking for to deal most of our damage. But if there's not enough in the area, you'll see that over the top right there's three out of four, so I'll just finish this one just to show you the mechanic of it. There's another one of those Ritual League mechanics. But you'll see over on the uh, mini-map which uh, monsters that you can defeat. They're indicated by a little yellow sometimes they can be kind of far away they're usually not this far away okay here's one we just got really unlucky with this but here is the enemy this one down as quick as possible well this it's a lot of monsters over here let's go ahead and throw a totem down here was a great hunt exile i now will write a mighty poem about it Damage is actually pretty good, and same thing with our survivability. So with this helmet over here, since it grants us energy shield, uh, otherwise I would start trying to uh, RNG roll that. This is yellow. Oh no, it's 19 to. Um, we'll see if this is uh, going to be an upgrade. If it rolls like extra fizz damage, it could be. Okay, so it's 19 to 30. Unfortunately, no upgrade there. Continuously upgrade all of our gems, and. The mission is now complete for Einhard. And we also leveled up. I'm feeling pretty confident to get some more damage right now. Uh, and we will start speccing to get the martial experience, which will grant us um, a decent amount of uh, damage with the overwhelming uh, physical damage. We'll also be able to get some uh, physical attack leeches left. I'm just going to grab all these so I have survivability and damage. So it's kind of like a two for one over here. I'll do this uh, after eliminate these. And we'll also uh, do some trading. Uh, oh, this is a new mechanic. I haven't seen this before, where there's just like this laser that goes through. So I guess we can hop over it. That's good. Alright. So these will definitely get a lot more difficult, but obviously, uh, as the difficulty increases, we'll probably get better rewards. And uh, we don't have any of the uh, tributes, so we'll have to save it. Um, so I guess you can um, 
to further an item, which is kind of cool. Uh, I want this orb of alchemy over here, so I'm gonna go and move my face out of the way so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh, this is also really good. So, um, both of these are really good. I want to grab this because I want to actually get myself an, a, uh, an item and I want to show you guys how to trade in the game. So I'm actually going to go uh, and put the item and save it for later. Which I think is a really cool mechanic because if you see something really good, you can still get it. It's just going to be there next time. So we're going to go find Creighton over here and he's one of the bandits that we will eliminate. There's going to be uh, three bandits, and like I said, you get to side with one of them. Or kill them all. Um, killing them all is usually what most people uh, go for. However, uh, for me, I always, almost always, unless I'm doing this like, very specific build, I always help Alira in the very beginning. The reason why is you grant yourself a decent amount of resistances, and on top of that, you also can I get... Carry this. Powerful. Um... You get a decent amount of resistances. Actually, this will be for a chromatic. You get a decent amount of resistances and um, you get some mana region, which just really helps out. So I can run as many um, Quicksilver Flasks as possible. But hello, Prince, how are you doing? Hello, Matt. Uh, am I doing a new guide this league? Yes, indeed. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, and we already have part one over on YouTube. Uh, I recorded that like off stream because I wanted to get it done ASAP. Yeah, this league is really good. Like, I like the league mechanic. Um, I like the idea of it actually more than Legion, but I just like Legion because you hit it, um, which we'll, we'll encounter later. Um, I think it's more toward, towards like the end of the game where we get to experience Legion. But the reason why I like Legion so much is you click on it, like it's kind of like the same thing. You click on it and it starts the thing, but there's just a bunch of enemies and you just eliminate all of them at once. This one's a little bit slower on what you're doing. Um, sometimes. I mean, sometimes they're fast like that. I think it just depends on the luck of, like, what the mechanic is. Um, so, oh, you can also apply an item filter in here. Wow, that's really cool. Um, let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and not use any. So I guess it's only in the area that you can save the item. That's very interesting. So, none of these are really that great, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make any use out of any of these, but some of the hidden items we'll be able to unlock as we uh, go on. I think how it works is each area has its own set of like what can be there. I'm wondering if you do the league mechanic enough if it reveals all the items, um, or if you can get something that gives you a hint on what the item is, like I'll say like unidentified or something. But I'll do more of the league mechanics now that we can uh, basically go through the content much faster. But hello, Magus, how you doing? What's up, Chimley? You can defer to make the item go to the next Oh, thank you for letting me know. Because uh, I only started, like, a, our first part of our playthrough. Ooh, taking some, some damage here. But I'll be able to get enough uh, life steal because I'm just going to slam as much damage in as possible. And the more damage we do, the more life we get uh, healed for. My mana is gone. All right. So last, oh, there is a, uh, a chaos orb. This is actually quite great for me. I'm gonna this guy. Actually, I'm just gonna throw it on a totem. Um, I don't really want anything except for the chaos orb, so I'm going to defer this item and confirm it. If we can get it, I don't know if we'll get enough funds. I don't know if the funds also reset. Does anyone know uh, if that um, resets the, like does each area have its own, like we have 301. If I go to the next area, do I save that? I don't know at the moment. Is this some POE content? It is indeed, Phantom. How you doing? How's everyone doing? What are you guys playing uh, in the chat, if you guys are playing? Or if you're watching this as a playthrough on YouTube, um, and you happen to be playing another class. I'm, I'm assuming most people, for like a, a starter guide, will just follow exactly what I'm doing. But you don't have to at all. And that's the awesome thing with POE. Um, it is kind of hard, though. Like, the, your first character probably will suck. But it doesn't mean that it's permanently going to be messed up. Unless you, like, somehow go into Chaos Inoculation, which puts you at 1 HP. Um, then, yeah, you could definitely mess up your character. Uh, unless you respec out of that, there might not be a way for you to, like, level up or farm enough currency. 
Oh, you're playing Cyclone. Yeah, you know, in this league, I think Flicker Strike for the league mechanic won't be actually possible unless you do enough damage, which is one thing I want to test out as I plan to get over 100 rage. That's that's the plan. Uh, is 100 rage is not even that hard to hit because we can get 50 from our ascendancy, which I'll show what that mechanic is later. So we'll get the ascendancy and um, that'll give us 60. It used to give us 50 and they buffed it up by 10. I was gonna do Raider, but you lose so much damage on Raider and Champion this league because they nerfed them. They technically buffed them in another way. They gave some more attack speed, but that extra 30% damage that Champion lost and losing the extra Impale stack and you lose another 500 uh, armor and 500 evasion. That class was OP. I, I played it last, last league on Heist and I 100% would say that that was like, uh, Impale Champion was so strong. It was so easy, but it deserved the nerf, in my opinion. But they buffed Zerker. Uh, Raider also lost damage, but in return you get more consistency on having extra attack speed and move speed, so that was kind of nice. But for me, I, I really prefer damage over... Uh, damage and attack speed are very important stats for me in terms of like playing. I hate playing low attack speed. So, uh, actually, it's not too far away. So this is Creighton. So you guys can choose what you want. I will recommend Lyra though, because it grants you a lot of nice stats. This gives you, uh, the attack speed's okay. The dodge chance is too small for the matter right now, 3%. And the extra move speed, all, all the stats are nice on all the uh, bandits. However, we're going to kill them. You can actually set up your totem right before, or if you're playing any class that would throw down like a trap or summon pets. Um, probably should have mentioned this in my first part of our playthrough if you wanted to play another class you can definitely do it um and i have a guide for a bow class i have a guide for a spellcaster slash summoner and those were both pinned in the uh comment section as well as the description in the last video but I'll also put them down here uh, in this one but again since it's a newer league at least the, the first part i think watching the other one was okay because it shows you the new ritual mechanic as this is new, it wasn't out before. But once we get our faster attacks, this build will be so much better. So we killed him, and now we're gonna go uh, back to the other side. So we're gonna go back to the forest encampment now that we have this waypoint. I just like doing it this way, it's much faster. And more, actually, we need to go here. And then we'll get both of these as well, as this will increase our. Um, recovery leech and it also grants us extra damage uh, I like to get all of these like ASAP and then we're gonna actually scale and get lots of resistances so this way it allows me to scale damage uh, a lot faster oh we'll kill this this is uh, the equivalent of a Diablo 3 like loot goblin although I don't think you drop anything probably use this as an upgrade. We probably should have went back to town and got rid of some stuff. In fact, we'll do this thing and then we'll go back into town real quick. Oh, this is the this is the the little laser thing that I was worried about. I mean how much does it hit for? Oh it's it's not that bad right now. Like I can just let it go by. But later I'm sure that it's gonna do in some insane amount of damage. Like I can pretty much stand in and just pop a potion. Alright, what do we have? Oh, it has that, uh, Alk. It'll be discounted. Okay, that's cool. Um, man, these are all hidden items. I, I guess you can see what it looks like. It's an amulet. This was either a weapon or a, um, looks like a quiver, at least on picture. That's what it looks like. You can get quality gems. That's pretty cool. I want this Alk. I wonder if you can defer an item infinite times to very like no matter what you'll be able to get it so yeah let me go ahead and offload some of these items that i don't need and uh, unfortunately wait what is this nah, not the right colors uh ideally i want two reds and let's go ahead and let's see what this says a 380 and yeah, it's gonna be better than we have right now uh 360 I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Usually I like to have two life flasks, but 
Uh, you know, we can keep this one because once we get uh, to a Lyra, this will just give me... Uh, if you put so many of the same flask, what it does is it, it gives you another item of the same like type. So if I put like th three, like uh, these flasks will give me another one. It's usually better for doing this usually with jewelry. If you're trying to craft a very specific one, you just want it to roll. Uh, I don't even know why I picked that up. Sometimes in the very beginning, I'll, like I mentioned before, picking up some small items just simply for... Actually, we can keep the coral amulet. Actually, no, this is a white, right? Okay. Uh, the reason why is because I want to get an essence and throw an essence onto it. And then we should also add this added fire damage so I can start leveling that up. And we'll see if one of the vendors right now, if we can go purchase, let's see, a item that has the sockets that I want, specifically in like the boots department. Uh, I need a three link. That might be something that'll be a little bit more difficult to come by in the very beginning. We can also go to, um, the trade website. There's lots of trade websites. Uh, I'll link that in the um, the description as well. You got an exalted orb already today. That's legit. I mean, I just started, so that would be nice. I have gotten an exalted orb in Act Two before. Uh, so an exalted orb is a form of currency that uh, is really good. If you can build some builds off of just one exalt. In fact, this build will be basically relatively cheap. The the only thing we really need is going to be a, a unique tiger sword uh, up until we get towards like the end game and the unique tiger sword doesn't cost anything it's called terminus s and it will significantly increase our speed at um, being able to get a frenzy charge which is something we will do later right now we are super mana starved it's because I have my thing like three linked right now we're gonna actually look for a certain area, it usually goes up, it might be past this, and uh, we will fight a guy named Oak. We can leap across this. And we're actually one-shotting the uh, little, like, monkeys. All right, so now we're in the wetlands. And over here, we'll fight another bandit. want to upgrade the fire. Oh, nice. A little chromatic. So, so far with the Ritual League, because they, they actually uh, do adjust the League mechanic, like, really fast. We're talking, like, one or one or two um, days after it launched, they will take into f uh, consideration feedback. I think what would be nice is if you did one of the, like, um, the Rituals, it would show you where the next one is at. So we can go ahead and defer this item once again. And we'll just make it keep on uh, costing a lot less. Until until we can afford that Chaos Orb. Because I can break down that Chaos Orb into like a couple Alks. And each Alk is one like unique item that I can grab. And uh, it's mostly to show you guys the trade mechanic of the game. But it also technically is going to help us out. And just be a little bit more faster. I'm going to be getting as much movement speed as possible because movement speed feels good also these corrupted areas are very nice and i'll show you what they do so this is kind of a a, a taste of what end game is so uh, in, in the end game of this game you'll have these modifiers like in this one over here we have the uh, monsters have more life they poison on the hit and there's also increased quantity so there's usually a downside and an upside usually the upside is more loot Actually, over here, I just noticed my HP pool could be a little bit better. I'm going to grab this Heart of the Warrior, and then we can get way more damage. And then I want to get as much resistance as possible, because once we get, like, 30-ish resistance, we'll be good for a while. Usually don't really need to worry about resistance uh, that much in the very beginning, but it lets me scale damage uh, a lot harder. But pretty much, you can kill things, um, and at the very end, there is... A little thing that you can open up right, right here it's the evolved vessel and you can get corrupted skills all right oh we got an amulet that's definitely gonna be something that's way better oh, we get uh, vol skeletons let's go and throw these bad boys in here as long as we can meet the requirements for it 
Awesome. So I'll show you what this skill will look like as it, it will look very cool. I'm gonna put skill skin over here and then I'm gonna put the, so here's what regular summon skeletons looks like. The vol summon skeletons on the other hand will be way cooler. And uh, we got a nice little, I can pick up these things if I want to. There's an iron ring. That might be better than what we have. Don't have a, I have a plus 19 mana one. Whoops, I actually didn't want to open up that. I wanted to open up the scroll, but that's fine. No biggie. We get extra fire res. Uh, I'd actually rather take the mana than survivability. Oh, so some of the deferred items might not appear in the next area. Ah, okay. But they'll appear sometime later on? Or is it just like they're lost forever? I felt like a uh, heist was super worth it in the very beginning. But oh, we got a better amulet for sure. I don't even know what the current one was just some mana regenerate, but this one grants us strength int, um, extra uh, two percent armor, like nothing, because uh, we don't have very much. But the fire cold resist is it, kind of nice. So we can have up to five skeletons right now. So we got a little helper, guys. We can get our totem. Yo, we're playing a summoner now. <laughs> uh, no, it's just so I can show you the skills. Later on, the, the skeletons, since I'm not going to be scaling them, will basically get absolutely melted in like one hit. So uh, this is Oak over here. We're also going to kill him. But before I like fight him, what I want to do is put my totem down so I can fight him. So and him. this is what he will grant us if we go ahead and side with him. Um, it's actually not bad at all. It, but like I said, I really like Alira in the very beginning. And if you preferred like uh, the ground slam or any of the other skills that we were using before, feel free to use those. guy's a little tanky. Grab the Your reign is now over. we'll grab this. Bandit so this is going to increase our life by a lot. Um, so we have 492, 565. That's a huge amount. 20% like extra life right there. And after Oak, we actually will be helping the last person. But uh, also an important thing to mention, if you change your mind, you can actually uh, change your mind on if you wanted to like help a different bandit. That is entirely possible. Um, it is relatively expensive though, so I probably wouldn't recommend uh, swapping multiple times, but that's, that's for like way, way later. Um, so don't worry if you select one, you're like, you know, I kind of want to do the other one. Don't worry, you can change it later. It's like towards the end of the game, but is gonna be so nice to have so first we're gonna go grab the waypoint and depending on rng if we come up to alira we'll save her first or there'll be a quest called the way forward that we're gonna be doing right now that's gonna go back to act one in fact we're gonna go back to act one to get um to complete one of the quests we'll have to and then next we will get two more skill points so the weaver chambers we will access that later since we have the waypoint, we can warp gone. right back in. Let's use it to the left over here. But they might have rotated it. Okay, there's the black arms. This is for the uh, quest to go back. I think we need to this guy for it. There we 
we go. And then we go back. You can see this is like an area that was locked off. So this actually brings us back to Act 1, if I was to go do that. But because I can save a talent in Portal Scroll, what we do is go to Character Selection. Bam, big brain plays. So that just saves us a portal. So we can go back to Act 1, as this quest is technically in Act 2, but you got to go back um, for that. And we're gonna talk to one of the guys, and we'll see if we can buy uh, some yeah, well. extra skill gems. Fate. Okay, and he'll give us a passive point, and then Nessa. Be well. Let's see what help purchase. I can offer I think you. Precision. Oh, nice. So we're gonna get our first aura over here. Uh, so an aura. Let's see what else we can get. This one's kind of nice. It does it does have mana reserve, but it does increase your mana regen. But we're gonna get mana regen anyways. Goodbye. So with the precision, we're gonna get extra crit chance and extra accuracy. Accuracy is our chance to hit, which I haven't really been getting. So it just lets us kind of scale that for free in a sense. But now we're gonna get extra fizz damage and also life recovery. So it's basically getting both. And what we're gonna do is go up here. And this node is really good. It's one of the best healing nodes like in the game for health. It grabs us, or I shouldn't say healing, it's more so just um, our health pool gets increased by 14% and a 20 uh, to maximum life. It's like half of, well, this one also grants us extra strength, but this is like another really strong one to get uh, on this side of the tree. But uh, now we're gonna go and do the uh, Maroon Mariner over here. And this is for Fair Graves, so we'll go back into Act 1. And what we're going to do is look for a little area that's hidden. I like to do it in this order. Even though it's technically like an Act 1 quest, since you have to go back here, it just makes things relatively efficient. Because I tried to scale and get to the uh, Leap Slam as quickly as possible. And we might have skipped out on some of the content, uh, only to come back to it because I consider it more efficient. But we won't interact with the League Mechanic as this uh, monster level here is a little bit lower. So we won't get as much XP, just like in any other action RPG. If the area is, you know, really easy, you're not going to get as much XP from it. Straight down. I guess it was on the other side. Maybe It could be over here, though. You know what? I'm going to go over here just in case, so I don't have to double backtrack. Could be anywhere that we haven't discovered. But what it looks like is kind of like a hole in the ground. It's not that one. Unless it, unless it was this one. And I skipped out on it. Oh, here it is. The uh, ship graveyard cave. Where to find the off lane. Leather belts are quite nice. They, they always have plus health on it. So if we get an essence, uh, which is something we haven't gotten yet, but I'll show you guys how that works. As they're really good like items for like starting out. Kind of, I want to say, is this our first shrine? So if you click on a shrine, it's just like Diablo, where whatever it tells you, it grants you. It grants you. So this one is a freezing shrine. So we'll get like a little aura, kind of freezes stuff for us. I'm not really killing too many of the enemies here. Actually, I should have picked up that Rustic Sash, because it could be an uh, upgrade, but... I'm kind of past it now. <laughs> but yeah, Rustic Sashes will give you increased Fizz damage, and that's what uh, we will be dealing for our damage. We'll click on the Strong Box. So, Strong Boxes... Um, right now, it doesn't really matter if you die at all, but sometimes when you click on them, they'll freeze you. You can use a Scroll of Identity um, and find out what the unknown is for that one. Usually I just click on it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cause you'll have a flask, like this one, for example, it grants us immunity and removes freeze and chill. 
and that will allow us to you know, get around that mechanic. But those are the only ones that I would say are dangerous. Sometimes they'll explode like corpses too. There's a lot of things where you can click on it and you will instantly die. So now we gotta find Fairgraves, which I wanna see he's at like the very start. He's usually like right here, I wanna say. So we'll bring it to Fairgraves. Well, hello, tree. How you doing? All right, yep, I was right. He's still here. Like I said, sometimes they move around where like the NPCs are, or like it's just RNG sometimes. Please, Some of those skeleton boys. It pains me greatly to do this. Hard times call for hard times. I'm sure were the circumstances go and now we can talk to best like you said save yourself a portal load back in and out if you are playing this on console or if you are playing this with a really slow pc it might be better to just use a town portal um, or if the servers are having issues because sometimes uh yeah the servers could be down and doing that much well, might uh actually make it take longer <laughs> so go ahead and do that Actually, I'm going to go get rid of this. I don't think we're going to get another better item. And I, at this point, I plan to get Brisk well, Wrap well. very soon anyways. But I need to show you guys what Vol Skeletons do. Um, actually, I'm actually going to put this on Control. Okay, so on PC, I'm not sure what it is on console, but I'm sure there's a button, maybe L L2, R2. Um, I can have a whole nother set of extra skills. And just because your skill isn't equipped does not actually mean that you can't use the skill. I'll kind of mention that later with like cast when damage taken. Some of them you won't actually do it. But you can actually activate a skill and then like ignore it so usually what i do is um with my buffs i put them on like all my control but we have another skill point available so we're gonna go ahead and go back into act two uh, we already got a reward right okay and yeah so go back to act two and we're gonna go do the deal with the bandits we're gonna follow the trail to follow uh alira or to get to alira but I appreciate the help there, Trimley, in the chat. Uh, sometimes, like, there's other things uh, that, you know... I don't think... I don't know if anyone knows everything in PoE, even some of the people that work on the game. But apparently, if you follow the trail, you can find her quite easy. I'm going to go into some of my skeletons. And I'm going to activate this buff. And I want to show you this because this is important. So if I activate Precision over here, you'll see that I have 40 reserved mana. So that means 40 of my mana is completely gone. It's reserved for this skill. Then in return, you'll see that there's a buff around us. And that grants us extra crit as well as accuracy rating. So what accuracy rating is, is going to be our chance to hit. So if I'm checking on the offensive, I need to check this skill because this is our normal attack, which no one uses a normal attack in PO unless you're doing something for like a special content. Um, so our chance to hit is 100. If I unactivate this, our chance is 88. So that actually is a decent amount. Um, it will matter more so for uh, evasive monsters, um, but for now, like it's, it's just free extra stats and I'm not really using um, uh, any um, you know mana like reserved, so it's totally fine. Uh, now some will reserve a percentage and some will reserve a flat number. This one's a flat number, so uh, I actually like don't want to upgrade it past like a certain amount. What's the amount that I want to like um, stop at? It depends like how I'm feeling on my mana. Like right now my mana is, is not very good, but it's not because I don't have enough mana, it's because my mana regen can't keep up. But with Alira, it will make a nice difference. So we're gonna follow the path over here. Mm, where's it going? Oh, the path just goes over here. And then is it gonna go down? There's a letter over there if you wanna like read the lore. Did I somehow not follow the path correctly? Or is it just like, you follow the path and there's like a higher chance, but it's still RNG? We should get more damage now, though. We actually probably should... We need to get a 4 link. Which we'll get relatively soon. I'm just going to get this for extra damage. 
I actually wanted to go straight to resistances, but if we're not if we're not basically one or two shotting things, okay, no, we're still good. Oh, this this one's kind of cool. There's a giant orb that kind of goes back and forth. There's nothing to kill though. So let's see what we have over here. Nothing good. Um, I don't really think there's any point to doing anything else. The other one's just a hidden item. So. But the most important thing also is to check the area level. So this is like 17 and I'm 20. So like we're still getting like okay XP. But if you start noticing that yeah, like it's several levels behind, yeah, you can get a lot less uh, in the XP department. Oh, and actually I think it tells you what the, uh, the, the mechanic is. Can we summon our, okay, we can summon our, our Vol Skeleton. So this is a corrupted skeleton. You see how many skeletons we have? We got an army now. And it's just kind of fun to have, you know, these other things. Now, that skill we can't just use over and over. It has to build up. It has to basically collect souls. Um, Orb of Chance. Uh, a quality ground slam. So that usually will give you, like, I'm not sure what this one grants us. Maybe the extra area effect um, is what it's granting us. But nothing here that I really want. So we're going to go ahead and just move on to the next. I bet you it's in the bottom right. Let's see if we can find that path again. All right, oh, we found her. All right. So let's go ahead and summon our skeletons. And get out. Actually, we don't even need to, we're helping. <laughs> but if you wanted to kill her for the extra two passive points, it can be worth it. But that regen of five mana per second and the crit strike multi isn't really useful right now. It will be useful later, um, but the, the 15 all is, I just like it. So I'm going to go ahead and help Alira. And then we go ahead and get this. So we have, uh, now we also leveled up. And I kind of want to go, I, I, I really want to grab this ASAP. Uh, there's also a jewel slot, which is something I'll explain later. And I want to make sure we have uh, as much rage as possible. So now that we've done this, we can open up our quest log. My, my button is you, but we're going to go ahead and do intruder uh, uh, in black. So I'm going to go ahead, character selection, rewarp in, save myself a town portal. And actually there's two parts to this. Um, so now I can go right back into where we were for Act 2. And there's a spike that we can get from going over here. And eventually when we get our... Uh, Orb of Alchemy, I just need one of them. You guys might have already gotten one. I've, I'd say so far I've, I've been pretty unlucky with like the, the currency drops. I haven't gotten really anything that's super great uh, as far as right now. Oh, there's this tor uh, tormented. Drop a couple yellows. I'll grab the mitts. Uh, I'm okay with doing this altar. Actually, if the other one's right there, I just wish that when you did one, it would show you where the next one is. Well, some of these are relatively quick take like 10 seconds to do it. Since I don't really have any way to scale the skeletons, they're probably just going to get wrecked. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, we have a Chaos Orb. Uh, I'm going to keep on deferring this item <laughs> if I can, and I'll eventually get that Chaos Orb. Because like I said, that'll be nice little like four, four small unique items to help us progress. And if you don't happen to get the same thing, I, it's just RNG. But um, hopefully on this part, we'll be able to show how to uh, buy items from another player, like basically how to trade items. All right. 
There we go. Uh, so can we keep on def deferring? Oh, there's zero rituals remaining. Oh, we can't defer an item anymore. Oh, there's a, a unique over here. There's actually a couple, there's two uniques. That's kind of nice. But there's, I mean, it's not bad. But it's not something I want. So I'm just gonna, can we defer an item again? Oh. Oh, okay, so more value items can take longer to reappear. That's totally fine. Um, there's nothing that I really want uh, with this. This could actually be kind of nice, but I'm going two-handed here. Oh, this is two to five fizz. Um, extra max life. Uh, what does this grant us? This is like, okay. Um, I'll go grab this right now. What's this? Oh, I want the summon skeleton. So those guys, my, those guys are definitely staying. Uh, it's just, it's a small amount. Like in the very beginning, like it, like the one physical damage. Since we're scaling heavily on physical damage right now, and, you know, it it all adds up in Path of Exile. Um, these can these can be worth doing. Um, earlier on, probably not that great. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of these earlier on. I don't know if they've scaled these to be a lot better for the early game, but I feel like in the early game, there's to get what you want is quite rare because it's going to be like something that's corrupted. I mean, if, if we get another amulet, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good tip, Chimley. Uh, so d does your currency go away? Like after like each area has its own currency? Like if I leave this area that like 700 we have is worth nothing. Cause he was saying that we just buy things to sell to the vendors. And if I get that unique item, which I don't know if we can still get. Um, each area has its own currency. Oh, so it's separate. Okay, thanks for letting me know. That, that's that, that's actually a pro tip. Righteous fire. Ah, oh, nice. We have blade vortex. Righteous fires. Okay. Um, RF. Where's where's righteous fire? RF. This is actually a build that I really like. Uh, I blind. Okay. Um, oh, we don't have, uh, I need to keep my skeleton boys. So there's a skill called Vol right Righteous Fire, and what it does is you just start draining your health. If I was to use it, uh, it'll probably kill me. Uh, I'll, I'll get to another area and I'll show you what it does. Um, you need a lot of life regen to make it like a specific build, but since, oh, I can't grab any unique, that's unfortunate. Um, the reason why I wanted to grab any unique there is because you can get uh, alk shards. Alk shards equals um, orb of alchemy, and then when you get an orb of alchemy, you are able to uh, get like one small unique item from uh, another player. We can go scout this area. There should be like a boss at the very end that we want to elim. Oh. Oh, if you notice, we just got warped back in time. That's called rubber banding. It happens, especially in the very first day of Path of Exile. Uh, the servers just get wrecked. I mean, today's not too bad. Um, also, sometimes if your attack speed is too high or you have too many things going on in the screen, it, it probably won't matter for most of you guys right now. But it's only when you get into, like, cast on crit, activate 50 spells, uh, do 50 spell loops, uh, yeah, the, the game will just kick the server will kick you so there are certain builds that are actually unplayable in the game Because the server just doesn't let you it, it's you're it, you're really trying to do something dumb to make that work But it's it's funny. There are people that dedicate themselves to making builds that break the game <laughs> Just to see what they can do um, But it's gotten a lot better Like it's not like most of you guys will probably never like be able to do those kinds of things because again you have to intentionally do like really dumb stuff so once again free town portal warp back in and uh, we will be able to go back over here and then now we're going to do the uh, intruders in uh, sh uh sharp and cruel is finished uh this will actually grant us the ability to get um a few uh, i have a little set of notes so um 
Sharp and Cool will let us get melee physical support and close combat support and elemental damage support. Um, if I had like the added fire damage, in which I don't have, that's something I would consider getting. So close combat is quite nice. Um, faster attacks is what I want on my Leap Slam. So I want a green and a red. So this lets us use our Leap Slam just much faster. So I'm gonna grab this. And unfortunately, I do not have a green and a red linked, at least not right now. Um, I don't know why I opened up my stash. Oh, there's also a stash in town. You probably you can throw some stuff in there if you want to, like maybe save it later. If you want to do that, that'll grant us a chromatic. If you do identify something, so right now, this grants us, let me move my face out of the way. So right now you'll see that that grants us five transmutations, but if I identify it, we get 11. So it can be worth it to sacrifice one thing for another. And I'm going to actually keep this. Uh, the reason why is because it granted us attack speed. I don't like attacking slow in the very beginning of my games. It's one of my pet peeves. Now I do want, uh, like I mentioned before, I wanted a um, green and a red linked. So if I can get just, I'm just going to, oh, this is such a waste. Just come on, green, red. There we go. I know it takes, sometimes it, it could be a, a huge waste. Wait, did I just do it on the wrong one? Okay. That was the wrong one. But that's okay. I need a green and a red. Just one green and one red. This is such a waste to do it, but I'm just kind of doing it to show you guys. I actually kind of want it. it. The thing is, is it's two off colors. Okay, perfect. That's all I need. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and get that leap slam. Wherever I put it. It's in one of these. Where the heck is it? Leap Slam. So I'm going to put Leap Slam and Faster Attacks into one. Now I have this extra... I'm going to put skeletons in here. I actually really like ball skeletons uh, in the very beginning. And then I also want to go ahead and throw that Righteous Fire in here. And so when I activate this, I'll show you exactly what happens. So Path of Exile, like I mentioned before, it's not a, like a, a super friendly game because of things that exist like this. Like if I activate this ability, you will see I will die. Puts me at like low enough HP, but that's what uh, Righteous Fire does. Um, if I was to do that in the middle of a fight, yes, it, it does do a lot of damage, but um, the Vol Righteous Fire will behave differently. We'll show you what happens when you do that. Hello, GPX. Uh, good to know that I'm alive. Well, thank you, mate. <laughs> but I'm doing well. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and now. Uh, I don't really need. This is like okay, but I really like this specifically for that attack speed. Um, as attack lost. speed isn't the easiest thing to come by in the very beginning of a, a playthrough. Going. <laughs> and it just makes the game feel more responsive, especially because two-handers are generally a little bit more slower. Um, so we will go and do intruders in black now. Happy New Year, Happy New Year's as well, mate. Oh, Cast on Death. Yeah, we, we could do ca Cast on Death, Righteous Fire with a uh, Portal Scroll. I mean, yeah, there are, like, things where you can make it so it casts when you die. Uh, what's the point of that? Well, usually people do a Town Portal, so it automatically casts a portal when you die, so you can go right back in. Yeah, which is actually pretty helpful. But that's if you're actually dying. The goal is just don't die. Uh, wait, can I get this yet? It costs 100 tribute. Wait, how much does this cost? Wait. Oh, this costs a thousand. This costs five hundred. Gosh, these cost so much. <laughs> I can't even buy anything with this. Uh, let's see if there's anything actually good here. Uh, I'm move my face out of the way again, so you guys can see what is available. I don't think any of these are that great for us right now. So, I mean, this is uh, plus one socket of minion gems. I can get our skeleton boys up, uh, make them a little bit stronger. But I'm just gonna go uh, defer. This is. I'm just going to do this. I, the reason why I want to keep the, get the Alk is because it's a lot faster. It's like half the price. There's another Einhar mechanic. I usually just kill him because like, it's just like another elite to kill. Uh, we don't have the, our Ball Righteous Fire up yet. But we'll show you what that does. You're going to install Pewds tomorrow? Ah, I got you. Yeah, a lot of new people coming into the sleep. Oh, we got an Orb Alk! Nice! 
Um, at some point in this part of our playthrough, I will show you guys how to buy an item, as that's very important in this game. Very, very important. Um, you don't have to buy stuff. If you don't want to interact with people, hey, with, with Harvest available in the main game now, um, Harvest is a mechanic where you can really craft what you want without having to use like stuff or you won't have to unveil items which is not the most fun thing to do because I'm not a fan of the, uh, the Betrayal League mechanic so I just don't really participate in that. I don't really participate in the crafting section of this game too often. I mean there are certain things that yeah I'll like block out things and I'll, I'll mention how to like interact with it later but generally uh, I'm not really a crafter when it comes to games as like crafting in Path of Exile is mm, basically gambling in a sense because like you don't know what it's going to roll because not only do you like want a certain roll but it's got to be like the right number and it, it just takes a long time. Oh wait, two to five? What is our current uh, amulet? Strength and int is okay but ideally we want uh, the dex. Oh, again, my face in the way, my bad. Uh, Crit Strike Multiply, 2 to 5 physical. Uh, right now, the int is kind of nice. I mean, uh, resistance is nice. It, it, I'd rather just defer this item again and again. Oh, I can defer this item. Wait, I, I have I have one ritual in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ritual in this area, then I will get that Orb of Alchemy, and then um, we'll, we'll buy some items. And I'll show you guys how to buy an item from someone. And then we're almost done with this act, too. There's this. I like the idea of, like, seeing an item that you want. I wish they just showed you everything at the start, though. I know the idea is, like, you don't get to see what it is. I, I, it, it would be cool if you could just buy a mystery item for, like... It would be, like, mystery amulet or something. Maybe they will have that. There are certain things that you can only get from this, by the way. Oh, Blood Rage. I actually needed this anyways. Um, you can actually buy this, I think, at this point in the game. But I'll show you guys what Blood Rage does. So let's go use Blood Rage. So, uh, go and equip it. And, wait, we still, we have 800? Wait, can I not buy this? Oh, it'll, it will appear later, but I can't, I can't buy it right now. Okay, we can get this. All of, I guess I'll grab this. This is just some form of currency. Since there's no more in this area. So this is what Blood Rage does. Uh, we just start losing life. You'll see it starts draining. Although our life regen is high enough, so it, at this point it doesn't really matter. Uh, it grants us extra attack speed, which is really nice. And also, uh, life steal. But it, it's a buff that I will have to reactivate. Actually, we need to reactivate this. An accelerating hunt exile. Now, time okay. So we're done with that, and we gotta go to the Chamber of Sins. Which I believe is also because I have a, I have a little like notepad thing to to try to keep track of like you know things to mention in our playthrough uh, for this part. What build am I doing? Oh yes, if you would like to see the build that we're doing, uh, they're they're in. Uh, I just linked the YouTube video in the chat there, and it'll also have the path of building. Or if you don't use path of building, you can just visit on the main website. But keep in mind if you visit it via the main website with uh, Intuitive Leap, it, it kind of bugs out. Same thing with Cluster Jewels. It, the game doesn't know what to do. I feel like for the official website to not like have the cluster jewels implemented in and Intuitive Leap, which uh, to explain what that is for new players, Intuitive Leap is a special jewel that lets you get things that aren't connected. So obviously right now we start from right here and everything has to be connected from this start starting point. Uh, later you can skip things by putting in a jewel that lets you skip, but it only lets you get it in a small circle. But it's important because if I was to put one in here, which I might actually do, actually, let me show you more relevant. This one is really good here because I can put this in here right here. I'd still have to build up to the jewel, but then I can get Heart Seeker. I can get uh, Survivalist. Uh, I can also get Herbalism, uh, QD. I can get all of these without getting all of the ones connected. Usually how it works is these are called notables. The big ones are usually good. The smaller ones give you some benefit that's slightly related to it most of the time. So like this is all about accuracy. I can just get this one that gives me a huge amount and I don't have to get the smaller ones. It, it's just kind of smarter to save. Uh, like your it's, a, it's a way for you to almost have a discount in a sense of your uh, points. I love it and it's great. So um, 
looking at my notes over here in the uh it's the crypt uh level one okay that's what we need to do crypt level one is where there's another trial i want to make sure i tell you guys do all the trials so you don't have to come back and do these get a waypoint over here I feel like the league mechanic is significantly slowing us down sometimes because some of them are pretty fast but i think that it might just be better to interact with them later but um if you don't happen to have um the like uh or of alchemy at this point it's totally fine don't worry i just want to the point is to show you guys how to purchase items uh so you guys will know how to do it because at some point in this video we will show you how to purchase uh, an item and I'm thinking that uh, at this point, what are we, 22? I have a list of unique items that are like really good for starters. The reason why I want to use uniques, um, or like, it, it, I try not to use the word legendary because um, legendary has the idea of like, oh, it's like best in slot because that's how it is in, in Diablo as well as some other action RPGs. Oh, we need to eliminate him. But in this game, uniques, um, they'll always have like some some stat on it like there's an item called brisk wrap that I'm gonna try to prioritize it gives us extra attack speed move speed uh, some extra evasion as well which is it's just nice to have it's 100% optional like obviously we're totally fine with it uh, playing without it. Level two is over there. Oh, you know what? We'll just go straight to level two. For some reason I was thinking we could also get the other uh, trial done, but the crypt is somewhere completely different. Later I think we get to, yeah, oh, okay. Chamber of Sins level two. You know it is in the Chamber of Sins? I was thinking it was in the crypt. That's okay, we're still getting it done. <laughs> we'll get all these done. And uh, we'll be able to send and become a Berserker. So we start off as a Marauder, which is like the, the starter base class. Oh, we can actually act, act, activate the Vol Right. Oh no, this is regular Righteous Fire. Eliminate him. Always try to get these guys down fast because they'll kind of run away. Although with melee builds, it's sometimes not the most friendly, especially with slow attack speed, which is why I wanted to, I wanted to get that fast attack speed uh, because you know it's just too slow. By the time your hammer starts swinging, he's way way gone. But I did want all of these uh, scrolls of wisdom, as running out of those kind of sucks in the very beginning. And if you run out of them, you can use the vendor recipe, a uh, transmutation. Can grant you four of those. So here is the trial. These ones have these spinning blades. So all you have to do is just don't stand in them. If you do, they'll start uh, you know, making you take damage. And use use that leap slam to go ahead and kind of make it pass certain things. And you can see that the switch locked the door. We'll activate it again and we'll open it up. Some of these are kind of pranks, to be honest. Like, you don't have to always hit the switch. What the heck is this thing, dude? And just started throwing up the lightning, like, all across the screen. It reminds me of some of, like, the, uh, was it the Scarabs in Act 2 of Diablo? It just, just covers the screen, and, like, you can't dodge it. Not that it really mattered. I think we got a, a ring um, at some point. Yeah, let's go ahead and identify that ring. Ooh, there we go, mana on kill. And I, I think I've noticed where mana's like pretty good right now, right? But once we become a berserker, once we do the trial, the first trial of uh, our ascendancy, you'll notice the gameplay completely different, which is awesome. Let's go over 
over here. Oh, you know what? We actually have to go, go all the way around. That thing. It's everybody. Right, do we have enough? Okay, so we can now use the Vol Righteous Fire and watch what happens. I just stand here. We just chill. Oh, you know what? I didn't do enough damage, but uh, it, it can usually do a, a big chunk of damage, but like, um, obviously it's, it's not too high enough level. And um, we just don't have anything to scale fire damage right now. I'll actually want to talk to Helena. But how you doing, Mojo? Are you playing this league as well? Oh, rubber banding. And so you're gonna meet her in town. And the fastest way to do that is just log right out. Another free town portal. Excise. Now we can get Herald of Ash, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ice, Ancestral Cry, or the Seismic Cry. Uh, I'm going to get Herald of Ash so we can start scaling some fire. So we gain 15% of our physical damage as extra fire damage. The other one over here uh, adds lightning damage, but since I'm scaling physical damage, this one gives us more value. It's going to reserve a uh, partial of our mana for it, but it'll be worth it. And I believe you can also purchase... Uh, other ones, let's see. So we can get Herald of Ash. You can get Herald of Ice as well. If you want to add ice damage, they all reserve a certain amount. Uh, I like the ice because it's more consistent. Lightning is like one to 42, whereas ice is 23 to 35. So that's kind of nice. Um, but you can go ahead and purchase this one as well. And you'll see how much mana it reserves. And there's also, actually more importantly, I should have grabbed this one because this grants us extra uh, physical damage. But if we want to, we can go throw in all of them. And I want to show you guys, you know, kind of how that mechanic works. So now that we've done this, um, do we have to talk to, uh, uh, oh, Helena, there she is. Keep your life to we have to poison the ancient tree, so it's called Root of the Problem. And now, more importantly, we're going to throw in a Herald of Purity somewhere. Um, I kind of want to keep our totem. What is this one? I don't need Chain Hook. I was going to show you guys how that works. We'll show it off later. I still want to, I'd rather do Melee Splash and level that one up. So Herald of Purity and Herald of Ash. And if I can find room for this, what do we have? I need the faster attacks. Onslaught, I do want as well. Uh, Blood Rage, I do want, I, uh, I want these, but if I can get another item, I'll just use it. In fact, I can show off, um, if I identify this, I can swap weapons, equip this, and I can still level up the gem without even using it. I should actually do this with Flicker Strike as well. Um, I don't really like want to use something to change color. I'll find another item and I'll throw in Flicker Strike on that. And so yeah, we're gonna go this way. I don't unfortunately have the uh, waypoint for Riverways, so we'll have to do it by foot. But now, if I go ahead and open this up, I can go ahead and use Purity, Fire, so I'll go ahead and activate these. And you can see I only have 50 mana left, but that's okay. I don't really need that much. But our damage is gonna start scaling. And when we kill things, We'll have these little guys that come out, and they'll be able to fight for us too, so... I guess we're kind of partially a summoner build now. And at this point, we can drop these mana flasks for way more Quicksilver flasks. Usually how I play is I run four Quicksilver flasks, and I just run through content. Stopping for some of the elites. Something is buffing these guys up, so I'm gonna... Oh, look at all those. Woo! Chaos Orb, nice. I also have uh, the Gachi soundboard. So if you hear some sounds that are kind of weird, and you're like, what the heck is that? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a meme. Most of the Path of Exile community knows what it is, but it's uh, it's basically just some extra sounds. So like that's not in the normal game, but a Chaos Orb is quite nice, as that can be broken down for a couple Alks. And yeah, we'll actually get... Um, a unique soon I'll probably get Shiver Sting. Hello Kitty, how are you doing? Uh, here we're gonna go up, up to the wetlands, then we go and poison the tree. Oh, there's another one of these, get him, get him. Woo! There we go. Do not worry, little beast. We are pleased now. But how are you doing, Kitty? Now we go to the Vol Ruins, 
and we actually have another skill point. Um, and I'm just gonna rush right over to Sentinel. I actually like to get Sentinel as well as these. This is kind of optional, or you can get the health. Um, I'm just gonna start scaling a little bit more defensively, and then we get a lot more offense. I just wanna have the resistances, because right now our resistances are pretty decent, and this allows me to not get resistance on gear in the very beginning for i don't know what reason people price gouge resistance items that are like they're not even good items at all but they'll, they'll just sell them for like way higher than they should be in the very beginning because they know well technically everyone's like trying to get resistance but if you do a lira and you go the route that i i'm going you get what 20 from 20 from a lira and then you can get another um 10 so it's 30 and then you get like 48 to basically everything and then you're pretty much good until like the end game because later at the end game you'll get negative resistances so you have to worry about that you're eating some chicken nuggies nice what kind of sauce you got for them summary x trust and betrayal is definitely amazing anime i i do like that one a lot yeah i haven't watched any like recent anime but now we just gotta go through the uh, ball ruins, and we'll be coming up to the boss of Act Two. And then you know what? We might do. I might do uh, uh, the the purchasing items at the start of three. It depends, like, because the thing is, is I don't want someone to be like, you know, I, I don't have uh, you know the currency and I can't buy something. But again, the point is to show you how it works. But I want to mention just as a heads up: you don't have to trade with people if you don't want to. I highly recommend doing it though because you should learn because otherwise you're just gonna get a bunch of items that like if you don't want what are you gonna do just vendor them you can is it smart generally not because the vendor doesn't give you uh like a good deal most of the time there are some times where like an item is there's not that many people looking for the item so you end up holding on to it for a long time and it's not really worth that much and it's better just to get a few Alk shards from like a low-tier unique item. Um, but there are also lots of uh, people that use uh, trading bots, and they'll offload some of their like their smaller currency items to this bot, and it'll just basically buy and sell uh, items. Which, you know, a lot of people don't like bots. It, like in the game where like they farm currency, I'm one thousand percent okay with the bots that trade. Uh, currency or items that are like for like very beginner players because no one really like wants to hold on to these and this one uh, as soon as we open it it froze us that can be dangerous I've got an old alteration but yeah like for for the players to you know be able to get some items earlier on it's uh, quite nice because again no one really wants to sell like low tier items in the game Yeah, I think we're doing 100% good on the mana right now, which is awesome. As long as I'm able to basically leap slam around, I don't care how much mana reserve. But I need to stop putting in points to precision. And I'll show you... Oh, is this... Oh, I'm saying it's a perfect time. But no. Um, so what I'm going to do, because it starts reserving more and more mana, I'm going to not put any more points into it. This is the one time where earlier on you don't want to level up a skill. Like, as much as I like free extra chance to hit, I, I really don't need that much. Ooh, there we go, okay. So as long as it's not precision, we can just upgrade all of it. Even though I, I don't have to upgrade Leap Slam, like Leap Slam, early on you can actually get kills with it. So it's not that bad. Oh, we got an Orb of Fusing. Nice. That'll be like another item that's, um, like another form of currency that's tradable. Pretty much everything in like the gold text, like uh, this, these are all things to modify items, and they're all worth picking up. The... The portal scrolls and the uh, wisdom, or technically, yeah, you can trade a bunch of them for items, but uh, it's not what I would recommend uh, people to trade. Just just use them yourself. Yeah, we have a super smooth playthrough right now. Oh, make sure you click on these crafting recipes. They'll be used for later down the line. Actually, we can drop some of these mana potions. Do I have anything else for heals? I 
could yeah swap one of these out because I I don't need the mana potion. I, I have no mana to actually like recover. Have our skill point, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in. We could actually. This is actually so good. I want to grab this first because it's just it's insane how much life. Like watch how much life we get when we level up. Um, the next level. It's just a massive bonus. Because our damage is really good right now. I mean, look how much damage we're doing. Two, maybe three shotting most things. And that's what you kind of want to do in the very beginning of the game. If it's taking you, like, ten, ten hits to kill, like, just a, a regular white guy. Or a white enemy. Uh, or I should say it's a non-magic because someone's going to take it the wrong way. But... <laughs> If you attack like you know the blues and the yellows, those ones will um, you know that's totally fine. If it takes you like maybe ten to kill some of those, especially if their modifiers have like life regen or like um, something that you know makes things a little bit more difficult. I know you're in 2020. God, watch what you say. I'll clip it and make it go out of context. But, uh, yeah, most of the, the non-magic enemies, the Hufflepuffs, you can, you can eliminate them fast. In 2020, oh, yeah, 20, dude, I'm, I'm so used to saying 2020, not 2021. It's weird. But if you happen to be watching this video in 2020, uh, drop a like on this video. I think that's a really smart strategy because I don't know for what reason, like I, like that was said in a comment and I just thought it was the dumbest comment ever. It was like, like this if you're watching this video in 2020, which I really assume makes no sense, but it makes someone go, wait, what? And then little kids for, I don't know what reason, like, because I, I do play Fortnite as well. And like, I, I, I see a lot of like weird stuff that like, you know, it's trends with kids and I'm just like, what? Um, but it works. Like kids are like, haha, it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know, man. Heck, like when I was younger, I thought slime was cool too. And like, it's still cool this day and age. But that one, I, I just think it's funny. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely play Fortnite tonight. It's just, uh, right now, I'm gonna, I'll play some PoE. Ooh, this could be a little bit dangerous. Some enemies... Oh, hold on, this is precision, and this is something important to mention, so I will... Go summon our skeleton guys. We haven't actually summoned our skeleton guys, because at this point, it's not really worth it. The, the Vol skeletons are still worth it, 100%. For, like, the boss fights, those are really awesome to use. So what I want to do is show off this mechanic. So this is precision. Now what I can do, it says um, right click. Oh wait, no, where's this? Does it even say that? Oh, so right click to dismiss without leveling. So this, wait, this this skill, because I want to level up this, I want to level up this, and I want to level up this. I don't want to level this up anymore. I don't want it to cost more mana. I'm going to right click on it. Or if you're on console, I'm sorry, I don't know what the button is. Um, but yeah, just whatever it says, you can't hover over it. I'm sorry, I don't play console. Um, I don't know what the hotkey is, but I'm, I'm sure you can figure it out. All right, so like I said, at this point, we don't really need the mana flask, and we're gonna get this quick. So watch our HP. We go from 689 to 790, and that's gonna start scaling even higher. Another orb of all? Nice. And you can hear some of the sounds. <laughs> that I have uh, enabled. This one's actually from, uh, where is that? Where is that? Was it? Uh, was it? I don't know if you guys can even hear that one. That's from the Sarf what? <laughs> if you don't know what that is, don't look it up, kids. Uh, yes, these, since they reserve a very specific amount, yeah, I'm just gonna level these up as much as possible. All right, coming up to a boss. Usually before these, you'd have to throw up a portal or it would be smart. I should say to throw up a portal but this guy can do some massive damage so actually we're probably comfortable with health i mean i feel so bad on the first part of a playthrough when we died because i feel like a scrub but at the same time i w i swear i was just kind of testing out how much you know damage we could absorb because they always increase the difficulty of this game 
But uh, with Alira, we have just like that nice amount of mana. We can activate our Volrach's Fire over here. And see how much damage we do. Vol, where'd you go? Actually, we can throw in the Vol Skeletons as well. Where, what? Okay, he's out now. Go summon our Skeletons. You can see there's a big Skeleton guy over here. Oh wait, something got unactivated here. I might have accidentally pushed a button. Oh, you know what we accidentally hit? We accidentally hit that. See, like, I, I don't have the mana to reserve for that. I should put this uh, as the regular skeletons. There we go. And then I'll have my ball still in the hockey, and then I can activate my blood rage and all that stuff. So I can get extra attack in. You see, where are we? Oh, I think we kind of ran into some amount of problems because I was doing a lot of the casting versus like the. Uh, I don't know if this grants us any mana leech right now. Right, it might be like mana. I think we get like some mana or life on kill right now. This was way easy. Oh, well. I... Okay, so we have. This. I don't need this anymore. I'm grab this. Okay. Crafting recipe. Again, don't forget those. I'm not going to use them. I'll be honest. Um, for the most part, there are there are, there, there is the, the only crafting recipe I care about is changing the colors of the sockets on an item. Um, that's the only thing I really ever engage with, as well as changing the the sockets on an item. Um, you can manually do it with like just putting in the colors, but you can pay, let's say, like 10 and it'll guarantee you a green. So there are like, you know, uh, reasons to go ahead and do that. I actually want some mana leech uh, relatively soon. So our curse was some hex. I was going to mouse over to tell you what it was, but I, we just went away too fast. Oh, no, unfortunately, we got nothing out of it. Um, I, keep in mind, I also have a loot filter, so you'll probably get way more items than I am, but I specifically don't want to see certain things in the game, so I just disabled it. Um, I don't... I'll, I'll, I'll make a video guide going over loot filters, um, but for the first part of your playthrough, it's okay to just have all the items, because I think one of the worst things for someone when they show off Path of Exile, because I see it all the time, and I mentioned them in my first video, where it's like, as soon as someone, it's like a new player guy. All right, so the first thing that you want to do before you play Path of Exile, download this thing, Path of Building, and then also download these scripts, and like people just, they're just like, nah, man, I don't, I'm not installing like 50 different things before I even play the game. Oh, I was supposed to rescue the girl. My bad, I forgot about her. Um, so this is Clarissa. You talked to her, we rescued her, and she just, what? As soon as you save her, she's like, I need you to save, do, do more for me. It's like, I just saved you. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go to Sarn Encampment, and this will be Act 3. So this is um, the Sarn Encampment. Um, yeah, you know what? We, we have enough time. I'm, I'm just also trying to gauge the each section of our little playthrough, because I'm trying not to make these longer than necessary, but the first two are usually a little bit longer, because there's just so many things that I'm stopping and explaining, and uh, on average, I, I get these acts done way faster, but um, go with courage. for the in, intense purposes of being able to show you guys mechanics. All right, so I'm going to sell uh, some of these. Oh, there's also doing PvP in this game. It's enabled now, but uh, I, don't take the game's PvP serious, though. It's generally not what most people like to engage in. But I want to show you guys how to sell items. So I got this. This was really lucky. Most of you guys have probably gotten one. Uh, one alchemy is definitely doable. This is maybe doable too. But you'll definitely have alterations. So what we do is we're going to go to uh, a website. Let me go ahead and actually share this. So there's two websites. And I will be posting these in the pinned comment. So let me go ahead. Do I, 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 yeah, okay. So I'm going to share screens right now. And let's do this. So... Now that you guys can see this, so this is the website, I'm gonna do it, um, I'm just gonna go to the, the base website right here. And then I'm going to show you guys how to search for items. So if we go to trade right here, and on this website over here, so you can use either one of these websites. Most people like the official website. I like this one. The reason why I like this one, it looks really clean. And this one has better search results to be honest, but I, 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 I like this one better. <laughs> so, there's an item that I want to get. Um, let's 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 try a brisk wrap with four sockets. So I want uh, brisk wrap, um, and I want it to have 
four links. What colors do I want? Really, I just need, I don't know what I want. I like ancestral color, just just two reds. Uh, ideally, getting a green won't really matter here, but just two, two reds. Actually, I'm just gonna do this because I'm gonna do it for like the cheapest currency. So that's all I'm gonna type in for this, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit search. And I can do it on both of these websites. Okay, what? For four? Okay, maybe uh, we don't go for that. Let's just go for four link body armor. Um, so you can change all the parameters here so you can find exactly what you want. And then we're gonna change the cost over here to like one uh, chaos orb. Type that in. And I just want a four linked, let's say body armor. And uh, what level are we right now? We wanna check this too, we're level 25. So I also wanna make sure I put in the maximum level requirement is 25. I can also put like the max dexterity or the max amount of like whatever I want. Um, so we'll check this out. We have this, this could actually be pretty good. Um, this is definitely worth getting. Uh, and it's a four link, that's pretty cheap. Um, and it only costs one fusing, which is like half, ooh. Ashrend is actually a lot better. Uh, but that one actually gives us movement speed. I'm gonna buy this because it's really cheap um, and you guys should be able to afford this. So what I do is I hit where it says copy and I go ahead and hit control V and I just paste it in. And this guy over here will message me back. Sometimes this game, people do not respond and it's just part of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and now also open up the main website and we'll do it for this as well. So uh, item category, body armor. And we want, gosh, what is this? I uh, see, I'm not used to this one. Uh, socket filters, links, minimum four. And then the, uh, let's see, trade filters. We want, uh, where is it? Requirements, here we go. Max level 25. And we go and hit search. And this one over here, you can see all, oh wait, I hate when people do this. Um, you can also change, uh, well, okay. This I'm just gonna show you guys this one so you guys can see, I like this website much better. I think most people will like this, the way this one looks, but honestly, the other one is better for most people. Um, but I also want to go Let's just go ahead and search again because that guy he obviously didn't respond and like I said I like this website better, but I'll link both uh, We can also grant ourselves to see if we can get this is like okay as well. I, I kind of want fox shade um, This is okay, I don't, honestly ash run with the, the evasion is good too and it also supports all the gems so it's actually adding another yeah let's get this it's it's probably not worth it to buy it but like i wanted to buy the other one but so i don't make this video like longer than it needs to be this like it's overpriced it should be like one alc it would is like maybe three times the price it should be but it's like small currency i don't care so you can see that this guy also didn't respond that's normal in this game oh unfortunately i'm in standard oh Oh, wait, oh, what? Oh, I'm not in, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a good tip. I didn't know it put us to standard. So instead of it being standard, you need to make sure it selects ritual. <laughs> I was wondering why those things are, oh. <laughs> oh, that, that that definitely helps out, okay. So um, for, I don't know what reason, oh, you know what, last night I was actually messing with stuff. It usually defaults to the um, regular league, okay. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake. It really is. Okay, so make sure that you're in the correct league because if someone's playing on hardcore, they can't trade people on softcore. Okay, that that makes total sense. Anyways, so let's go ahead and go to brisk wrap now. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this. This is probably easier. So I'm gonna also just put rarity unique. The reason why I want a unique is because it'll just grant us movement speed. It really doesn't make a huge difference. But fox shade over here or brisk wrap. Oh, that really. Okay, this one's better because it's. It's got five sockets in it, uh, but I ideally want this because it also adds uh, a massive amount of evasion on full life, which makes it so like during boss fights, since we'll be at full HP, uh, it'll be really good. This one also grants us, uh, the attack speed is nice too, um, but I think, I think honestly, uh, the Fox Shade is so much better. It gives us more evasion and it gives us ridiculous amounts. Is it worth one Chaos Orb? Absolutely not. 
Like, is it really worth picking up? No, not really. Um, I would recommend you can get these for like one elk. It's just that I want to give you guys like a faster gameplay experience. So what I do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, he, I can't go to his area. You'll see that there's a little like button that I can click. Um, usually he'll go to his own hideout. Maybe he's doing something. I'm going to click on my own hideout. You'll get these as you progress in the game, but you just click on his. Oh, he went to my area. So if you click on the little like, oh, he went, he went. We're playing <laughs> catch up over here. So we're gonna go ahead and trade, throw that in, mouse over the item, make sure it's the right one and hit accept. Unfortunately, I don't have the decks, but I did this on purpose. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and whisper him back, say thank you very much. And we are gonna now go back and we're gonna leave the party. So I just right clicked and leave party. I don't need to show you guys how to leave the party. No big deal. So you notice I don't have the requirements for it. Oh no, did I waste this item? Not really. Oh, dang, there's a lot of uh, latency here. It's because I'm capturing the game twice because I was capturing that monitor. But now what I want to do is obviously I want to use this item, right? I got a new item. I can't use it. Uh, do I have, uh, let's see. I'm going to do something. Uh, let's see, actually, we can go and get a Jade Amulet. And I'm going to use this Alk on a Jade Amulet to make it a rare item. So I got to make sure, oh. If I take this off, you see that these other items I can't use. So you also have to take in consideration if you're swapping this item for another item, it could uh, mess things up. Oh, actually, I really want to actually alk this um, because that'll make it a uh, rare ring, which grants us uh, some resistances. But what I actually should prioritize now um, is being able to use this item. So um, if you lack a certain stat, I can go to Act 1, and actually I can go up my skill tree and type in Dex. We've already gotten like the one that you get for free. Like there's also like this noble does grant you 32 dexterity or 32 int as you'll have enough strength pretty much on everything, but you might not have enough intelligence or um, like this one gives, uh, just gives Dex. So if I remove this, you'll see that it says it requires uh, 50 Dex for the gem. And this one uh, requires 52 int for the uh, gem as well. Um, I don't really need those skills right now. Like this is gonna outweigh you know, like the summon skeletons. I'll, I'll get the stats later Hello. down the line. And that's another reason why you might not want to upgrade something, but I wanted to show this off to show it off. So we have uh, some of these we can purchase. This one just costs um, one orb of transmutation. So we can pick this one up. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to alk it. I kind of wanted to alk this, but I mean, we already have two like rare rings. These aren't really that great, but um, at the same time, this is going to be way more worth it. Um, this one doesn't do anything. When an item is corrupted, and these are going to be uh, corrupted by using either a vol orb to try to modify the item in a weird way, um, or it'll drop for, from a certain area in which the, all the items are corrupted. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and alk this and see what we get. Now we have extra one to five lightning damage to attacks and four max life. What rolled on it? Terrible. Not really that great. I mean, it's a low level amulet, so you can only roll certain things, but that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and equip this on it and we're still a-okay. However, I can't use this gem. Uh, and now if I remove it, we're totally fine, but I'll get my intelligence later. It's really not that big of a deal. So now we are going to go and equip this and you'll notice I'm missing the right colors, right? I want two reds. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna RNG it and hope that we can get a uh, two reds on it. Now, because it's a green item, the chances of it having to be an off color are more rare. If I even get one, I should be relatively happy with it. I want, if I get two greens, I'll be okay. I just want one red, but this is how Path of Exile works. Okay, we didn't get any. So unfortunately for us right now, we won't be able to really make great use out of this as I really want to have Ancestral Call and this. I want both these skills to be uh, able to be used. Uh, I kind of risked it and uh, that's, you know, sometimes what happens when you risk it. <laughs> it's part of Path of Exile. So now I'll have to go back and be like, okay, well, I'm going to lose out on, let's say, um, in this instance, I would still rather have Ancestral Protector. I don't, I don't really need it right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw Ancestral Call and the Molten Strike. And because this grants us 5 to 12 extra physical damage, it's going to outweigh the um, Onslaught. For, like, I'll still do like enough damage. In the very beginning, any flat damage is quite big. And this also grants us extra dexterity. So if I remove this now, I can actually go back. Big brain. 
and I can equip it even though I don't meet the requirements. Now, if I take this off, I'm not so I can't sure equip it. So, I can throw this on, throw this back on, and then swap them back out. Big brain plays. Um, I didn't actually need to alloc it, but I wanted to see. If, if it was better, I would obviously use it, but I don't need to. A lot of times, I recommend keeping uh, a jade amulet. Uh, I'll actually go over it. They, they have all the amulets here. So, there is a... Uh, uh, there's a lapis amulet, there is a jade amulet, and there's an amber amulet. They pretty much will always have these they roll up to. If I hold alt on my keyboard, I can see the maximum implicit modifier on it. And it can show you what these roll to. So this is 20 to 30. Uh, obviously, we bought the one that was 30 because I saw it. If these don't load in, you can go to different vendors. And they, they always pretty much have like a generic amount of like little things uh, that you can purchase. But that is one way you can go ahead and... Oh, wow. uh, get an upgrade. And you can see now I'm moving a little bit faster. It's nice. And that's why I really wanted this. I, like I said, I, I don't recommend uh, getting the one with four links. You can get one for one alc, which is like one fourth of the price. But I just wanted to show you guys, if I could get those right colors, it would have been awesome. But you know, that's RNG sometimes. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed part two of our POE playthrough. Part three will be up very soon. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. But if you enjoyed it, drop a like on it. And if you happen to be new here, uh, part one is going to be pinned, but uh, we'll be uh, doing the entire playthrough. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.